Attorney General's office hasn't said what, uh, if it's going to move forward with any kind of an investigation at this point, only that they've received the letter from Fontes. Now, in his letter to the AG's office, the new Secretary of State refers to an Arizona law that prohibits signatures, voter signatures, from being reproduced publicly. Now, the images in question that were shown during a presentation at the State Senate Committee hearing last week. Lake tweeted out several images from that presentation. We asked Lake's campaign and uh, Fontes' office for comment. All we know, uh, they've all issued statements at this point with the Lake campaign telling me, quote, Carrie Lake has an absolute right under the First Amendment to republish the information presented to the Senate. We asked uh, Democratic attorney Tom Ryan why information presented w wouldn't be public record and why would anyone, the media included, be barred from using it? If it's in a public hearing, why wouldn't I be able to um, publish the same things? Because first off, uh, although the, the Senate hearing is a public hearing, they're not supposed to be showing them either. And uh, the, the, the point of this is to keep voters' uh, information confidential. We have a right to vote in, uh, in secret and have that information kept confidential. Now, the state Senate has responded by saying the law in question includes exceptions for government officials and that a voter can't be identified by a signature alone. Now, again, the attorney general's office is not saying if they will move forward with any kind of investigation. But according to state law, wrongfully publishing the signature of a voter is a class six felony and carries the possibility of prison time. Okay, so, so potentially some serious stuff. It's here. interesting because we chose to blur the images in our news report here, but what about the people who retweeted Lake's post or even the Secretary of State who shared it in his <laughs> news release? Yeah, and, I did, and you, well, we're going to have a lot more on that coming up at six. I did ask uh, uh, the, the, the attorney Tom Ryan about that um, because uh, Adrian Fontes he did include some of those uh, those images yeah. in his letter to the AG's office. Now that is public too. Uh, is he not guilty of the same thing that he's accusing oh. Carrie Lake of? That's a question now. And I did ask the, uh, you know, the Secretary of State's office about that. I got a really short text message response from them, which they told me it is all up to the AG mm -hmm. to figure it out now. So Classic felony there potential there. That's big. Wow. Thanks, Dennis.